So let's test the camera system. So first of all I'm going to make it full screen so 19, 1920 by 1080 and let's change this last X and last Y to 960 and uh, 540 so let me see Okay, so first of all, moving the camera and rotating with mouse, it works well. I'm going to this cube, but after some time, as you see, the whole world starts to roll on the z-axis although we didn't specify rotation on the z-axis only on which is the roll only specified the jaw and the pitch uh, with the circular motion i'm if i make these circular motions <laughs> you see start to rotate the whole world So, I was googling what causes this problem and I, I find uh, I find this on gamedev.stuckexchange.com the guy asked, I'm rotating an object on two axes, so why does it keep twisting around the third axis? Hmm. And here is an answer. It's not an engine bug or an artifact of particular rotation representation. Those can happen too, but this effect applies to every system that represents rotations, quaternions include, included. You've discovered a real fact about how rotations works in three-dimensional di space, and it departs from our intuition about the transformations like translation. So when we compose rotations one on uh, more than one axis, the result uh, we get isn't just the total net value we apply to each axis as we get ex expect for translation. Uh, so, okay, so what do we do about it? If you already have a pitch jaw rotation system, one of the quickest way to eliminate unwanted roll is to change one of the rotations to operate operate on the global or parent transformation axis instead of the object's local axis. The way you can't get cross contamination between the two one axis remains absolutely controlled. Here is the same sequence of pitch jaw that became a roll in the example above, but now we apply our jaw around the global y axis instead of the objects. So let me show you something in Unity. So I'm created this cube inside of Unity. And uh, I'm going to rotate here in the rotation, in, in the transform. Uh, just look at, I'm going to uh, make a rotation on the X first. Then on the Y. And as you see, 
I'm rotated in the X and the Y, but the Z axis was influenced too. So let's go back here. So I'm don't going to solve this problem because at this time I I just don't have enough time <laughs> to think about how to solve this. Uh, so as you see, when I make a circle of motions with my mouse, the whole words get tilted to the right. But uh, if I start to make circular motions uh, clockwise, it start to tilt back. Let me show you how to disable the mouse cursor. GFW uh, that set 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 input mode um, window and glf cursor glfw dot cur dot cursor and glfw dot cursor cursor disabled so now the mouse cursor is disabled and if you want to set it to real full screen I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's copy this window creation here I'm gonna uncomment this or comment this out and here change this none to um, glfw that uh, get primary monitor get underscore primary monitor but uh, it uh, sets the screen to a uh, full screen but my my uh, screen recorded didn't record it so so I'm gonna leave it, it leave it here and comment this back so I changed the code a little bit to include instanced rendering uh, so what I changed is here in the vertex shader I'm adding this vector free offset and calculating the instance array, creating an instance VBO and drawing with the draw elements instanced. Uh, this code will be uploaded to GitHub so you can you can download it and further examine it. So let me show what we have that now we are implemented the camera and the instance rendering together it looks very good so let me look that side wow let me look up we constrained the pitch so to 45 degrees so Oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> That's the power of the instance instancing or instance rendering. Yes, this is the end. Mm, let me 
as you see, it starts to roll, but I'm going to roll it back with, this, with circling with the mouse. Oh, it looks very good. It's about more than 100,000 cubes. Oh, on the other side. So just download the code, run it and play with it. So that's all. Thanks for watching.